Cool family, and again, we're just racking them out. We putting out video after video after video, okay? Because I'm bored. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I hadn't been able to do too much because I had been in pain lately. But now I'm getting my second wind. I'm dealing with the pain. I'm taking PT exercises, trying to get my shoulder back on point. And, of course, the rest of it got to heal. So it is what it is. Taking less pain medicine. Trying to deal with uh, a lot of stuff. Just touch and go. Because we know we're going to have to go with a long range of healing. Nothing that I have did out of two weeks. Almost three weeks ago. Is going to be fixed through surgery. Praise the Lord. We're going to have to mend on a daily basis. And get lots of rest. Okay. And to help with PT. All right. But it just is what it is. Hopefully you all are doing well. Some of y'all are probably still looking at Netflix. Or just chilling with the fam. Or reading a good book. Or you know getting into your Bible studies. Or whatever you may be doing. But hopefully you're relaxing. And you're enjoying yourselves. And not getting in that crazy mess of fighting. People out there in the real world. About water, toilet paper and everything else. Okay. I went out there. I had to go to, I think it was two different stores because I couldn't find one thing out of another store. But it just is what it is, okay? You, 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 you live one day to fight another day. So you just don't really get too much into people's temperaments because they feel like the world is coming to an end and everything's crashing and they just have to just stockpile, okay? This is what it is. People get panicky out there, but that's not your girl, Deb. We're going to ride this storm out till we can't ride it out no more, okay? But hopefully my family is doing well. And whenever you come on in to play with me, to sit down and talk, I'll be right here waiting on you. Uh-huh. And giving you all your accolades for being here with me on the daily whenever i put out videos and when i don't put out video videos we're still thinking about each other and we hope to see each other again come next video okay <laughs> come next video we're gonna be talking as you can kind of see through the visuals while i'm narrating speaking on other stuff we're gonna be talking about lonnie love honey First and foremost, she is an engineer by trade and by profession. Why she stuck on these reality shows? Well, I won't say she's a reality host, but she's basically a correspondent uh, over there on, I think it's The Talk or is it The View? Hell, I can't remember. I think it's The View. Shit, I can't remember. But anyway, uh. The show that Tamar was on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know that was Tamar's show. But when they pitted it or they brought it into fruition and pitched it. Lonnie Love was supposed to have been the main cast of the show. The real. I'm sorry. I'm calling the view and the talk. Honey, it's the real they were on. Okay. But she was supposed to be like the main point person of that show. But then when they hired all the other co-hosts and Tamar was hired on as well. She took over the show. And she gave the show life in a sense. So, of course, there has been speculation and rumors that she got Tamar fired. Because, uh, you know, people were tuning in to see Tamar. Tamar made the show for me. I was there for all her ratchetness and, and her truth talking of what she felt about certain trending topics. And she was in the industry as well, being a musician artist for her singing abilities and she did get to work with a lot of celebrities and her husband at the time Vince was managing her so she got to meet a lot of top-notch uh, artists in the field so she could speak on some things that Lonnie and the rest of the girls couldn't speak on because they didn't have that first-hand edition but we're here basically because a little bit of that but a lot of Lonnie Lowe don't call herself a boyfriend. Now, to me, it just seems like he is boyfriend for hire. I don't really see it in love. He kind of looked like a drunk person to me. You know what I'm saying? He always looked like he tipsy whenever he's around her or being photographed with her. I don't know what he really does. I really could care less. You know, I'm just uh, talking on Lonnie Love, calling herself, making this brother from another mother, from another culture, okay? Sound a prenup. 
or probably a possible prenup slash non-disclosed uh, arrangement or contractual agreement that whatever he see, hear, or speak in her presence, he don't supposed to say shit about it when they're not together no more. Okay. And I'm like, wait a minute now. Are you jumping the gun, baby? Are you jumping the gun? Because personally, I don't really see that you're, how I can say, that big out there to be concerned with somebody starting a rumor on you. Other than the rumors that have already been congregated on you about you uh, had a hand in Tamar's dismissal from the real. Other than that, you really don't pose a threat. In my eyes to anybody else on the show. Unless you just that petty and you want the show for yourself. I don't know. Because I don't think nobody will watch it. And it has a lot to do with your personality Lonnie. And you say you are a comedian. But when you be trying to make jokes on the show. I find nothing funny about it. And I, I, it's just mind boggles me too. And it just uh, definitely adds fuel to the fire. Or which I've always thought. When it comes to entertainment or the entertainment industry, if you got your foot up in that door, you don't want to shed it because it offers a lot of coverage or put you on a platform, however it may be that we're being shown you. And it is very lucrative. I mean, because you are an engineer by trade, by career choice, and we know they make money. And all the architect stuff, y'all had to draw the plans and all of that. And it's like you have to implement it and get the, you know, once you don't set it in stone, you get your contractor to go out there and build it and make it happen so it can come into fruition where we can see what you've been working on. But I'm like, you don't want to fool with the numbers anymore. You don't want to do that extra work that you paid and went to college for and got a degree. And I don't know, you probably don't pay your school loans off by now. If you even needed to have school loans. Because I don't really know about your background. I'm not really that interested in it. I'm just more so the here and now type of chick. Okay. And when you're trending and you catch my eye. I'm like okay. I need to, I need to see what she talking about. What she doing. So I, it just it just mind boggles me. The people that I see are in lucrative field. Career choice fields. Throw it all away. In their namesake. Just to be on reality shows. Or TV shows, talk shows, you know, just really basically giving commentary on trending topics out there. So I'm like, damn, ugh, are we all in the wrong field? Should we not try to get our hands into the inner door, entertainment door? No, this is probably as close as I want to come to the entertainment because I don't want people to come and tell me what I should say, how I should say it, and then who I should serve at the very end of my lifespan or who I will be serving until the end of my lifespan. I don't want that on my conscience nor in my livelihood of how I go and float through the world, okay? Anyway, but that's just my spill, my sidebar. Getting into the article family, we're going to be addressing a story that Dylan Fisher, he's a journalist over there, correspondent of Celebrity Insider. Yes, and he's posing an article for us to take part in. He uh, titled it, Lonnie Love is called Ridiculous for Asking Her Boyfriend, James Welsh, to do this in this video. Okay, well, let's see what she asking him to do because I think I pretty much covered it because I heard people talking about it. But since I haven't read the article, let's go on and see what the article says, family. Okay, and then we can go on and get our own opinions and speculations of what we feel individually about it. All right, it says by the looks of things, Lonnie Love is not afraid to talk about her romance with boyfriend James Welch. Now, sidebar, I'm like, if this man is also good and he's the one, why haven't you married him? Why are y'all not engaged? Why haven't you met his family? I mean, all of his family members. And why don't they know you as of you're going to be the one to be their stepmom? Because he has other children, okay? I, I don't understand, Lonnie. I, I really don't understand. And you have said that I heard you say uh, in an interview. I don't know when it was, but yeah. I was home one day and you were on this TV screen and my mother loves looking at you all. Um, I think she likes Jeannie. I think she told me she didn't like you, Lonnie, but that's just what I got out of it. Uh, 
and she liked the, uh, Gina's Asian mom. But anyway, the whole deal was uh, you were saying that you didn't want nobody to know about your relationship. Or you didn't want no, you didn't want to get that person on too soon, too fast, or something to that degree. And I thought that was stupid as hell. But I like every time I watch you, nothing but nonsense come out your mouth. I mean, even uh, the the recent uh, dilemma that you found yourself in by saying black women don't know how to eat. I'm like. Learn speak for yourself. Don't speak for me, okay? Because I can tell you in a heartbeat, I'm an emotional eater. I know what it takes to lose weight. Am I motivated? Not so much. You know, I do find some motivation when I find myself uh, not feeling well or lack of energy and fatigue. And so my bones ache. Then I know I know I need to do what I need to do. But, you know, and I had tried in all actuality and good spirits. But then I went out there and tried to mess with a tree. Okay, and of course the tree won. And now we're sitting doing uh, PT on my shoulder. Okay, because my ribs have got to heal. So I'm looking out pretty much the kind of exercise that I wanted to get into that I was doing prior to this project. Uh, yeah, it's going to be June, uh, possibly July, where I can get back into full swing of things. Oh, but anyway, just going back from that sidebar, we're going to go to the, back to the article. It says, uh, Jane Wash, <coughs> wait a minute, by the looks of things, Lonnie Love is not afraid to talk about her romance with boyfriend James Wash, but that does not mean she wants him to share details about their lives with other people. See, that's what I'm saying, Lonnie. Mm. When you say other people, are you talking about friends and family? Or are you talking about the bloggers? Which one, Lonnie? Which one? Be specific, baby. But anyway, going back to the article, it said, Recently on The Real, Lonnie explained that she had decided to protect her secrets by asking her man to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Okay? What secrets do you hold? What secrets do you pose are going to get out in the media other than you tried to mess up Tamar's lucrative... Uh, full-time employment with the real you got did you get rid of but did you confide that with your boyfriend that you got rid of uh tamar honey and that would be very salacious if you all ever broke up and he wanted to put his spin on things mm. well you know depending if you want to throw caution to the wind in one of his drunk stupors i'm just saying not saying he drink he might just divulge it anyway then what you gonna do okay that's just more fuel to the fire but anyway, maybe you do some underhanded things that we don't know about that he has been privy to and you don't want it to come out. But that's just my sidebar. Moving back to the article. Since Lonnie claimed that after Jessica Simpson wrote a book detailing her private life with her ex-husband, she made a move. The comedian claimed, if you know we're coming up in the world and things are happening, because you notice how now all of a sudden, like Jessica Simpson, all of them are writing these books and they're telling their side of the story and everything. Possibly if you did, possibly if they had an NDA, they couldn't do that because they could ruin your brand, she went on to say. She added, somebody's making false, not saying what Simpson is saying is false, but in general, it could hurt. It could really hurt the brand, could hurt you as a person. You might consider that. She revealed it was not a problem of trust and went on to say, I'm just saying, I have one. I made James sign one because the NDA isn't for him. It's it's because of people around him. No, Lonnie, sidebar, it's for him and everybody that's around him and everybody that's around you pretty much, okay? Like you got to say, dick is thieves. Yeah, you don't trust them. They don't really trust you or really care. So I guess you do have to protect yourself. But then again, like I say, when people are drunk or inebriated in some way or under the influence of other illicit drugs, you don't know what might come out of their mouth, okay? And if they ain't got nothing for you to take from them, how can you sue, okay, for damages or whatnot? It just is what it is. You can get around those NDAs. You can get around those NDAs, okay? But anyway, um, it says one person called Lonnie ridiculous and went and continued. Every time Lonnie speaks, she sounds more and more ridiculous. Lonnie is nowhere near the level of the Kardashians. OK, that was one truth teller. OK, another defender wrote, it's just smart thinking, given your status. If you want to get with me, sign an NDA and this prenup while you're at it. 
what she said here makes sense, especially in the light of the lady who used to work for her named Cookie, talking about what she allegedly did to Tamar. Now, see, I can get with that to a certain degree because I'm like, if you don't tell it, it's never be told. It's just between you and the Lord. You and the Lord, but when you're not smart enough, you want to run your mouth, you want to trust people in every facet of your life, then it's you you should blame, not the people that are telling your truth, okay? But that's just my sidebar. Okay, going back to the article, it says this backer chimed in. I like her, but everything she says sounds made up. She ain't doing that much in life that she needs an NDA. She does comedy and a talk show. It's not like she has Oprah status. I really feel she lies a lot just for the show, but she sounds ridiculous. Now, I can get half with that person. Lonnie only has really the real, the talk show she got because... Her comedy theatrics are not worth paying money to see because she don't make anybody really laugh. Well, I can definitely say she don't make me laugh not one time. But the other ladies, I can get a kiki, a giggle here and there from them. But Lonnie, she just doesn't give it to me. All right. But going back to the article, it says this social media user explained that that's not ridiculous. The Kardashians make everyone sign an NDA before they date anyone or step into their houses. That is why we only hear their side of the story and never the other. They're able to keep their records clean all while ruining others. But you get the point. So, towards the, the ending of the article, it says, what are your thoughts on Lonnie's move? And that's what I'm asking. What say you family on this particular subject that I brought out uh, today on what well, was given to us from Celebrity Insider by one of their journalists. What do you think about Lonnie Love making her uh, man sign a full non-disclosure agreement as well as probably a prenup if she's thinking about marrying him? And do y'all think this whole facade of her having this boyfriend, this man, do y'all think it's real? To me, he just looked like a pinup poster boy or man for hire. You know what I'm saying? Some of the things like Kenya Moore do. Just hire these men out here to play a part, a role, and then when she threw with them and tired of the, uh, the what do you call it, the press on this thing or person, she wants to cut them loose. I'm pretty sure she don't pay him in advance, so he's on retainer. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't see him with her. I, I see no love. I see no expression of joy. I definitely don't see anything. I'm like, ugh. Anyway, this Hollywood, Hollywood life we're living in. But family, y'all get down there and tell me what y'all feel about it. Do you think Lonnie has found her true love or he's an actor for hire? I do want to know. Okay, I don't care about the NDA or the prenup because that's all her. Like I said, she, to me, should have stayed in her engineering career and built houses, skyscrapers, and all that jazz. And she probably been married by now. Who knows? At least had a true boyfriend. But she wants to be faking the phone up in Hollywood doing a lot of things for a little change but in her way of thinking is she done made it okay now, i really feel she did have something to do with tamar not being on the show anymore i don't think she had a total hand in it but i think a lot of little hands was in it because tamar was winning on that show okay but it is what it is family get down there and talk with me talk with me about this subject let me know what you think okay or let me know how you think about this subject. And the two questions I pose. Did she actually help get Brad or Tamar? And is that man that you're seeing right now. Is truly her boyfriend. Or is he for hire? Okay. Do Lonnie Love have a real life. Or she's living vicariously through her co-workers. Or her co-mates. Okay. On her show. Well, their show. Alright. So I'll see y'all next video. And be blessed as always.